Hello, I'm Bill Florescu, General Director of the Florentine Opera, and I'd like to welcome you to the 83rd season of professional opera here in Milwaukee. We have a fantastic season ahead, starting with the world premiere of Robert Aldridge and Herschel Garfine's Sister Carrie, which we look forward to performing and recording. That will be followed by our annual Valentine's Day concert featuring our studio artist, Un Romance Espanol. We'll continue with a revival of our 2006 production of Don Giovanni by Mozart, and we'll finish the season with the evergreen and ever popular Rossini's Barber of Seville. I hope you'll join us. We are thrilled to present our second world premiere here at the Florentine Opera, this time Robert Aldridge and Herschel Garfine's Sister Carrie, based on the seminal early 20th century novel by Theodore Dreiser about a young Wisconsin rural girl's journey from the shoe factories of Chicago to the lights of Broadway. It's a story that tells the story of rags to riches in a way that isn't often told, particularly about women in the early part of the 20th century. It's a very important piece, and the music and libretto are by the brilliant Robert Aldridge and Herschel Garfine, who wrote Elmer Gantry, which this company was proud to do in 2010, and again in 2015. We also produced the two-time Grammy-winning recording. The story of Sister Carrie lends itself so well to operatic treatment. And Bob and Herschel's way with the lyric storytelling is, I think, unmatched in American opera today. And I think this will be an opportunity for audiences to see another important work in the American opera canon. We've put together an incredible production and team and cast to produce this opera. We will um, have some repeat um, performers, starting with conductor William Boggs, who conducted Amber Gantry for us and has a way with Bob and Herschel's music, which is, I think, unmatched. Um, I'll be thrilled to be the stage director of this production. It will star Adriana Zabala, who has been with this company in two previous productions, The Marriage of Figaro and Julius Caesar. She is well known for her both classic and contemporary opera work, and she will be doing the title role. She'll be joined by the extraordinary Keith Fairs in the role of Hurstwood. Keith was with us as Elmer Gantry. He's also created many contemporary works, Three Decembers, which we did in 2016, this past season. He will be a riveting performer in these roles. They'll be joined by some performers very well known to Florentine audiences. Matt Morgan as Drouet. Matt was with us in both Madame Butterfly as Goro and also in Elmer Gantry as Eddie Fisslinger in 2015. And also the brilliant young soprano, Elisa Jordheim, who is a studio artist here at the Florentine Opera and joined us last year for Elmer Gantry a wonderful cast, and the production team around it I think is extraordinary. Chris Stone is the scenic designer who designed both our Don Giovanni and also Elmer Gantry and is well known in the New York theater scene and is a very inventive designer. Making her debut with us will be costume designer Rachel Laritz. Noel Stolmack will be the lighting designer and I think it promises to be an extraordinary experience for opera goers to see the unfolding of a work which I think is going to be very important on the American opera scene. Following Sister Carrie, we will continue our annual series of concerts featuring our studio artists with Un Romance Espanol. We chose a Spanish theme because both of the next following operas take place in Seville, Spain. Our studio artists have a wonderful opportunity to be highlighted in this. We'll do music from the worlds of operetta, opera, zarzuela, as well as musical theater to highlight the wonderful music and the romance around it for the uh, Valentine's Day season. Um, as always, this will be underwritten by Glenn and Claire Hackman, who have made this series possible. And we're thrilled about the fact that it takes place in the renovated Wilson Theater at Vogel Hall at the Marcus Center for the Performing Arts. In March, we're going to present a revival of our 2006 production of Mozart's Immortal Don Giovanni. This tale of comeuppance for a nobleman who is dissolute is loved the world over, and we're very, very excited about uh, bringing this revival back. This production has traveled to other companies across the United States and I think it's a brilliant one by designer Chris Stone. We have a number of debuts in this production, uh, but we'll start with the return of director John Humes, who directed the original production. We have a number of debuts, as I mentioned. The first will be British-Canadian baritone Alexander Dobson in the role of the Don. Some people with local ties to our state who have gone on to have brilliant careers will also be debuting. Emily Bursan will be Donna Anna, and Emily Fons will be our Donna Elvira. And also making a debut is Brian Stuckey, tenor, as Donna Tavio, and a wonderful young bass, David Lee, who I first heard at the Ravinia Festival 
festival last year as the Commendatore. The wonderful Musa Nukwana, who is with us as Dulcamare in the Elixir of Love, returns as Leporello. I think it promises to be a riveting evening of music theater with who else? Mozart's music behind it all. So I think it's going to be a great evening for everyone in the theater. A great way to end a season is with a comedy. And it's hard to believe, but it will have been 10 years since we produced Rossini's Barber of Seville. And we're very thrilled to bring it back. Rossini's The Barber of Seville is based on a trilogy of plays by Beaumarchais. And The Barber of Seville is the first play in the series where Figaro, who is a barber, obviously with the title, helps his friend, the Count Almaviva, win the hand of Rosina, who is sort of kept in tow by her guardian, Dr. Bartolo, and Figaro helps win her hand. Principal conductor, Joseph Rochino, who has such a way with this repertory, will be conducting. I will be directing a cast, again, with some really important debuts. In the role of Figaro will be the wonderful young baritone, Luis Alejandro Orozco, and a fantastic young Spanish mezzo-soprano, Carol Garcia as Rosina. Exciting young American tenor, Taylor Staten, will sing Alma Viva, and they'll be joined by some folks who have been with us in the past. Andrew Wilkowski will make his role debut as Bartolo. He was with us previously in Albert Herring, and Matthew Burns, who is with us for Weathering Heights, will be Don Basilio. So I think it's a great cast and a wonderful way to end a season with the ever-vescent and, as I said earlier, evergreen comedy of Rossini to finish off our 83rd season, Rossini's Il Babieri di Siviglia. Please join us at the Florentine Opera.